Hello everyone and welcome to this month edition of our video change log. This is going to be a very big video change log because we have a lot of announcements. For the last few change logs, for in the last few videos, I've been hinting that we had something very big coming out. And finally, as of today, we are starting to roll it out to all of our users. So it's called Grid Composer and it's an amazing way to create advertising campaigns at scales. It mixes a total flexibility to create any kind of experiment, any kind of advertising you want with a Despresso uh, user interface, which is super simple and our focus on split testing everything. So how does it work with Grid Composer? Right now we support website click and local awareness objective. When creating a new campaign, you'll be able to choose if you want to use the standard way, so using everything from the web or the Grid Composer, which basically lets you use an Excel to feed a Espresso some information and then our web, informa in web interface to fill out all the missing information from the Excel. First step, you select Grid Composer and then you start uploading an Excel file. In this Excel file, you can basically insert everything that you want. For each row, you want you can define the fields that you want to define. For example, you can select a Facebook page. And yes, this allows you to create advertising campaigns in Adespresso that uses multiple Facebook pages. So you can create first column, insert the Facebook page. On the second column, you can, for example, insert the link of your ad, or you could insert the title, the text, whatever you want, not to fill from the interface, but to have very specific in the Excel just for that line of targeting. You can even insert custom text column that later you'll be able to insert and feed that, that single text inside the, the description of your ad in the web interface. And then you can even define targeting. Defining targeting is super simple. You can insert in the Excel interest, location, zip code, city, countries. You can even use saved audiences that you have saved in the asset manager. You can target everything. You can even insert custom audiences, of course. So why is this so amazing? Right now in Adespresso, you could create all the combination of title, image, uh, description, etc. And then all the combination of audiences and so on. Uh, this is great when you are testing a lot of different variation, but with more or less the same messaging, the same audience. Uh, with a grid composer, you can create much more fine-tuned experiment. Uh, if you have not checked it out, for example, you can go on our university section and check Molly Pittman webinar on her ad grid system. So the grid composer is just perfect for that approach. For every line, for example, you could target a different buyer persona. Uh, you could have the first line saying uh, in the Excel, you could have text of the ad which says, hey, Adespresso is the best solution for agencies. You could insert an image that is perfect for agencies and then in the columns for targeting, you could insert a targeting that is very specific to agencies. For example, people that read ad week, people that have interest very related to advertising agencies. And then second line, we could use a different text and say, hey, Adespresso has great feature for e-commerce. And then in the column related to targeting says, uh, that we want to target people who are interested in Sankart, BigCommerce, Magento, uh, WooCommerce, and all the e-commerce solution. This way, we will have, for example, two ad sets, one targeting agencies, one targeting e-commerce with very specific messages. If we want to split test even further, we could have four lines in our Excel, two for agencies, two for e-commerce, and keep the targeting the same, but just change the text. And this way, we will have two ad sets split testing two different value propositions, for agencies and two and one ad set for e-commerce with two different value proposition for e-commerce. So it really gives you a huge flexibility and also being able to target different Facebook pages from in one campaign is really a game changer. There is one more uh, use that you can do with a grid composer, which is gonna blow your mind if you are an agency or if you are a complex organization. For example, let's say that you are managing hundreds of local stores across the world or across Italy or whatever you want. Uh, let's say that they are selling hot dog, for example. 
you don't want to create hundreds of different ads for each store, for each uh, zip code and for each area where your stores are located. With a grid composer, you can create an Excel. In the first column, you don't need to create every single ad. You just want to write, for example, the name of the city or the region. So in the first column, we are going to select, uh, maybe not. In the first column, we are going to select the Facebook page of that local store. So we will have a Espresso Hot Dog Milan, a Espresso Hot Dog Room. And that will tell Adespresso that that ad, that ad, the information in that line should be uh, published under the Adespresso Hot Dog Milano, Adespresso Hot Dog Rome uh, Facebook page. In the second line, we'll just insert a placeholder text. So we'll insert the name of the city, Milan, Rome, San Francisco. And then we will add another column where we will just insert interest, people that love food and hot dog. And in the last column, targeting. So on each line, for example, where we wrote that the Facebook page is at the Espresso Dog Milan and the name of the city is Milan, we could have a fourth column with zip codes and just insert the zip codes in Milan that are nearby our hot dog place. And the same for each line. This can apply to hundreds of different stores. It's super simple and once you have created your first template, you can reuse it as much as you want. Once you have this Excel, you upload it. Once the, uh, the Excel is uploaded at Espresso, we'll check and validate all the fields. Don't worry if you have made errors, if maybe you wrote the interest the wrong way or the city the wrong name. Uh, don't worry, it's not a problem because at Espresso will just give you an amazing grid highlighting all the errors that you might have in your Excel and you can fix them directly on our web interface. And if you have the same error on multiple lines, you don't have to fix all of them. You can just fix that interest one time and the fix will be applied to everywhere that same error uh, is present. So once we have uploaded this list of our hot dog place, we can create the ad with Adespresso usual interface. So we are going to write a text description that says, hey, are you looking for amazing hot dog in? Wait, we are creating multiple ads from different pages targeting different locations. So how do we write the city? That's the amazing things of our grid composer. It lets you pick element from the Excel file and inject the text for that specific row in the text of the ad. So you, we can use the, our placeholder and select that we want to use the city name. And this way we have, hey, are you looking for amazing hot dog in city name? Then check out uh, at Espresso Dog Place, for example. And that's it. We use our standard interface. The fields that are already specified in the Excel will be grayed out. The others you can fill out. You can even create split testing, so create different messaging, different images, etc. Proceed to the targeting. And in the targeting as well, you will notice that, for example, the location is grayed out because we have defined the location in every row of our Excel file. Uh, we can then add more interest, geolocation, uh, age range, whatever you want. And that's it. And then everything proceeds as usual with Adespresso. But the amazing thing is that the outcome will be that you have an ad set for each of your store. You will have an ad set for Milan, one for Rome, one for uh, San Francisco. Each one will be using the specific page, Facebook page of our dog place in Rome, Milan and San Francisco. Each one will have a specific text that directly highlight that that's for San Francisco. So a lot of different use for our grid composer. I'm really looking forward to see the creative ways you will find to generate huge campaigns at scale to promote your business. Uh, it's just amazing. So guys, please try it out immediately. If it's not available for you and you are really looking forward to try it, drop me a line, drop the support a line and we'll activate it for you immediately. Otherwise, just wait a week and it will be available for you. Uh, it's really a game changer. I'm really a strong believer in this product because it gives you a total power in really creating super advanced campaigns in minutes and not hours of work. The combination of, a, of an Excel file and our web interface is just something that it's amazing. Uh, I'm in love with our grid composer. All right. And by the way, I hope this stays the final name, but we might change it in the next few days. Next, we, this was a big surprise, but we have a lot of new features coming out as well. So 
Support for Canvas. A lot of you have been asking for support for Canva and now it's available. When creating a new campaign, website click, whatever you want, you will notice that you have an option to select the link or to use a Canva. If you select to use the Canva, the Espresso will immediately take all the Canvas that you have created in Facebook. You will get the list, just pick the Canva that you want and boom, you have Canvas ads within Adespresso. Next, Instagram Stories, another big release. You will notice that in the first step of campaign creation, where you select the type of campaign that you want to create, you now have Instagram Stories. So you just need to upload a video in the right format and boom, you can create Instagram Stories. And just a reminder, Instagram Stories and Canvas ads are just for mobile, of course, and Instagram is just for mobile with Instagram placement. Ah. Next, Pixel Cafe in 2.0. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with it, but one year ago we released a WordPress plugin, which is totally free for everyone, which lets you build custom audiences and manage pixel and conversion on your WordPress blog at scale, super powerful. You can create super fine-tuned custom audiences like people that read blog posts in the category Facebook ads or in the category hot dog. So it really lets you create super fine-tuned custom audiences directly from within uh, WordPress. We made it even better. With version 2.0, you can now create a product catalog for Facebook. So if you have an e-commerce store running on WordPress and you are using WooCommerce or Easy Digital Download, now installing Pixel Caffeine, you can immediately create your catalog, you have thousands of options to really filter out what you want to insert in your product catalog, etc. As everything else, it works with one click connection to Facebook and directly from WordPress will create the product catalog for you in Facebook and keep it always updated. So huge improvement for everyone doing e-commerce on WordPress. And in just a year, this has become probably the most popular Facebook plugin, Facebook pixel plugin for WordPress. So we are really in love it with it. We are constantly updating it with the latest news from Facebook. If you are on WordPress, you should get pixel caffeine immediately. It's totally free. Just go on WordPress, add plugin, search for pixel caffeine, one click and you'll have it ready to go. All right. Next, data sync. We keep adding connector for our data sync so that you can synchronize your lead ads on Facebook with your favorite CRM and you can pull data out of your favorite CRM and create custom audiences on Facebook and keep them updated in real time. This month we added Marketo support. So Marketo is one of the most popular uh, all-in-one marketing automation software. If you are using it, you can now use Adespresso to synchronize all your data. And more synchronization are coming in the next month. There is a big one that we are working right now that all of you will be able to use immediately. I'm pretty sure no matter what marketing software you are using, this is something, a tool that you have in your stack. Last two features for one of the most rich uh, video change log in the last couple of years, I think. Email updates. A lot of you were asking for quick tidbits of how your campaigns are performing. We released this and uh, it's rolling out in the next week to everyone. It's active by default and by default it will send you weekly updates on how your campaign is performing. So you'll receive on your email a quick summary, how many campaigns you have running, how many clicks you generated, impression, what was your average click for rate, cost per click, etc what were your best campaign and worst campaigns. And we have a lot of more widgets information that we are going to add to the email recap uh, in the next following month. You can even choose the frequency. So if you go under settings, you'll be able to decide if you don't want to receive an email or if you want to receive a weekly recap or a daily recap. Just select what frequency you prefer and boom, you'll have in your inbox all the most important information that you need to understand how your advertising is performing without even logging in Facebook or Adespresso. Last release, and this is the last one and I'm running out of voice, we improve our photo editor. I hope all of you have noticed that now when you open the gallery to pick a picture from uh, the gallery of images in campaign creation, you can now edit them. You can crop, you can make effects, you can draw on them and so on. Uh, our design team has been working hard to 
uh, to add a lot of stickers. So now if you go in that section, you'll be able to find like ribbons, buttons. Uh, we will have for every special uh, events like some Valentine Day, uh, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, we will give you a specific graphic element. And this gives you the ability to enrich your picture directly from within at Espresso and make really nice things. For example, you can add a button, choose a nice one, and then use the text component on the photo editor and just add some text there like 50% discount. We have ribbon, we have everything that you can use to highlight special promotion, to add call to action to your ads without requiring a designer or people that take care of the image. So uh, this was another super useful component that will let you not leave at Espresso and do everything from our amazing Facebook ads tool. So that's all for uh, this month video change log. We have some other big surprises coming in the next few months. So uh, we asked you your feedback. If you remember in November, December, uh, you filled out the survey. It was amazing. We got a huge amount of answer and that really helped us shape the roadmap for this year. I can tell you we have two really huge things coming out in the second quarter. They will be released probably in May and June. We also have something pretty big and interesting for the end of March and you will love them. Uh, I'll just give you one hint. Uh, one of these three things that we are going to release is very focused on ad agency and I was running an agency before creating a Espresso. So it's something that will save you hours and hours of work every single week. It will give you a much better way to communicate with your customers, to manage your customers and to run your business smoothly, focusing just on creating great Facebook ads campaigns without all the waste of time in managing permission, doing back and forth with your customers. So if you are an agency, really stay tuned because in Q2, we have some amazing things that we are going to release in Adespresso to make your life easier. So that's all for this month. Thank you, everyone. Ciao, ciao.